Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ty here. I'm uh, just going to give a quick overview of my GameCube collection uh, since I had posted it on Twitter and Instagram and whatnot. Um, just to show you guys what I have. Um, so this is the box for the Wario controller. I have the Wario controller here. Uh, it's Club Nintendo. A lot of this stuff only came from Japan and this was one of them that only came from Japan. Um, and then this here is the uh, Panasonic Q GameCube. Um, it plays uh, DVDs, full-size DVDs, as well as GameCube games. And there's the controller with it, and then the remote. I have the box as well. That's behind a couple games here. And we got the Gundam Char GameCube uh, with the controller. Um, again, a, a Japanese limited edition. Um, the Mario Club Nintendo controller. It's just like the Wario controller. I still need the uh, Luigi controller. And we got the uh, GameCube NR reader, so that's a dev kit. Uh, it only plays NR discs. I have a few of them here. Um, this one's a brand new one. Uh, this one here. No, I forget what game's on this one. I have to put it in the, the check. And then this one is Driven. It's got a couple uh, differences in the game. Alright, this is the Starlight Gold GameCube, only released in Japan through Toys R Us. Oh yeah, and this is the Emerald Blue controller. It didn't come with the NR reader, but I put it up there because it's pretty close in color. This is the uh, Hanshin Tigers GameCube. I uh, don't have the plate for it, um, so I just put the uh, Mario Kart Double Dash Limited Edition plate in there. That was only released in Japan as well. And we got the uh, Hanshin Tigers uh, uh, GameCube controller. And down here we got the Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Limited Edition. This one did come out in America. One of the only ones that actually did. This is the uh, LodgeNet GameCube controller. It was only used in hotels. Uh, it doesn't work on an actual GameCube because the actual uh, plug is like a uh, telephone jack. And we got a keyboard controller, two keyboard controllers. Um, they were only used for Fantasy Star Online. Uh, they're both different. So this is the ASCII model. Actually has a purple back. And then this one is the Sammy model, and this one has a black back. And the keyboards do function, they only function in uh, Fantasy Star Online. And then here we have the Pearl White GameCube that came out in Europe. I don't have a controller for it, so I just put the uh, Japanese white uh, GameCube controller on top of that. And we have a black standard GameCube with the Smash Brothers uh, controller. Standard purple GameCube that has the uh, limited edition Pokemon Coliseum uh, faceplate only released in Japan. It's a pretty cool plate. And just a purple controller. In the back I have a bun bunch of uh, the boxes by the way as well. I don't have boxes for all of them but I do have some of the boxes. And then on the bottom shelf we got a purple GameCube with the portable screen. It's pretty cool. Then we have a uh, case mod. This is an Ice Cube clear case mod. Um, plays full size DVDs. And then a uh, Smash Brothers white GameCube controller only released in Japan. And we got the Spice Orange GameCube only released in Japan with the orange controller. And then my very first GameCube from uh, when I was a child, the Platinum GameCube with the GameCube controller. And a couple of Japanese games in the back as well. And then just a shell for the Smash Brothers controller. I need to put a board in there. But yeah, that's a quick overview of all my GameCube consoles. Um, let me know if you want me to break down each of them more and take them out and show more images or videos of them. And I have a couple more coming in the mail as well. Um, but just a quick overview of that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.